The Zoe Twin Plus Double Stroller, the perfect stroller for your next city or theme park trip. In this stroller review, I'll show you the features, the maneuverability of it all, the seats, and the current price. Even more than that, but you have to stay tuned. And by the way, this video was not sponsored at all, but spoiler alert, we love it. Be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end of the video because I'll break down if this indeed is the perfect stroller for your family too. And if it's not, I'll offer a couple of alternatives as well. Let's get into it. Let's start with the maneuverability and the size of the Zoe Twin Plus Double Stroller. So the wheels are so smooth. It offers a really smooth ride for my two kiddos. By the way, my kids are aged two. He just turned two, so we wish him a happy birthday in the comments below. Um, it'll be a nice little keepsake. We can look back at this video later and check that out. And my four-year-old. So it is just as smooth as my single Nuna mix that cost me 1.5 times this price. You know, first time mom splurges back in the day. Um, but I could spend this double stroller for hours upon hours. So for the cost, which I'll get into a little bit later, it is absolutely perfect. It is so, so smooth. So this stroller is 19 pounds, which is unbelievably light for a double stroller. It is an umbrella stroller, but at first glance, and honestly, after like using this for over 10 times out and about across the country in various places, you wouldn't even think it's an umbrella stroller. That's how sturdy it feels, but it's still very light. The Zoe company loves to mention that these strollers are 100% Disney approved. And let me tell you, I can attest that that is 100% true. The only, only time at Disney or any other place where we've taken these strollers um, that we have any issues maneuvering through like the twists and the turns and the tight spaces are if we have the adult cup holder on the side and we can't really get through the door like straight like easily because we have to twist it just a little bit to get the cup holder through the door. But other than that, that rarely happens. This is perfect getting through small spaces. The canopy is made up of four panels and has UPF 50 plus lining, which is really great for those extreme heats and on those really sweltering days at Disney. And if you have been to Disney with or without kids, let me know in the comments down below. You know exactly what I'm talking about, regardless if you've been on the East Coast or the West Coast or really any of the Disneys in the world. <laughs> just they're just hot, right? They're hot. So let's talk about these seats. So when we travel with this Zoe stroller, we've either been in a theme park, a regular city park near the beach, maybe on the road all day. So the kids are really, really tired. So the comfortable seats of the Zoe Twin Plus get that job done. So the adjustment, the seats have a 165 degree recline and the footrests are adjustable as well. So as you can see, we can keep them up or we can put them down, um, especially for my four-year-old. Four he likes to keep that down so that he can actually put his feet at the bottom footrest. The straps. I like that the straps are easily adjustable and it is a five point harness system. I really like that in my strollers and I know a lot of you out there appreciate that in the stroller as well. It keeps the kids nice and snug, but also um, they don't feel totally restrained, which is really nice. The lap bar has um, the same material as the, the push bar, double belly bar. Um, my four-year-old can actually lift it up himself and he can push it down himself. It's really great, very easy to use, and very comfortable for the kids. And the material of the stroller in general, we have the classic model. Um, there's also a luxe model, but the classic model, we just really love that the frame is aluminum and the seats are very smooth to the touch. 
and it's super easy to clean. You may see like little blue marks on the stroller in certain places. I just haven't gotten around to clean it, but those are from Epcot Festival of the Arts. So if you want to check out that video of us like painting the mural, tasting Encanto food and all of that, check out the video that's linked above or below after you're done watching this video. But those stains will come up. It just goes to show that the material that the Zoe Double Plus is made out of is really, really durable. So let's get into the storage. So there's a cup holder for you as the adult. There's snack holders for the kids. And my snack holders are currently in my husband Hot Chocolate's car, but I will insert a photo right here. And I just love that this stroller comes with so many included accessories accessories all included in the price and I also love to know when other busy bees are enjoying these videos so definitely hit that like button if you haven't already I'm really glad that you're here and hopefully you're enjoying this review it has a section where you can slip in your cell phone or your devices as well um, it's really compact and you want to hear the funny part busy bees I didn't even notice that these pockets were here on the back of each side until I was filming this review for you. The only downside of this entire stroller is the storage beneath the carriage. So although the storage won't fit a baby bag, like a even I would say a standard size baby bag, you can clip it on instead. Um, it is the perfect size for about four lounge fly bags. And isn't this Hunchback of Notre Dame one so cute? I love it so much. You can get it from Box Lunch and I'm not sponsored by them either. The compactability. As for storing the stroller itself, folding it up is super, super easy. It is so lightweight. So it reminds me of carrying a beach chair. You can see that I can like lift this thing up and down, up and down. And it's the number one reason we got this stroller in the first place, because it's one of the few doubles on the market that will fit in the back of a sedan or a coupe. When we relied only on our Graco tandem stroller, which I still have, um, but we definitely need to sell it because this one totally knocks it out of the water. I would have to take my husband's SUV if I had a solo trip with the kids to Disney or just running errands around town. It really takes up very little space in the trunk. So if you're worried about trunk space, this stroller will work for you really, really well the price. So as of the recording of this video, it is February 2022, it is $329. So most side-by-sides, this compact and this high quality are well over $400, even $500. So I do want to add that the Twin Plus right now is sold out on the Zoe website, but there is a button that you can click to be notified when it's back in stock. So as promised at the beginning of the video, let's talk about who this is perfect for and who it's not so perfect for. So this is great for families who need something for everyday use. Um, it's great for families who go to parks a lot. I'm talking theme parks or just city parks or just going around the city in general. Um, it's also for people who want something that's very compact, that's not quite like the typical umbrella stroller because it's still very sturdy. And it's really great for those who have one to two Two kiddos but the cool part about the twin plus stroller is that it has extensions as well for triples and quads and also it is really good for those who don't like to add on extra accessories because it comes with so many things like the cup holders the snack holders for the kids and um, other little compartments without having to pay extra who this isn't so perfect for First of all, if you like the great outdoors, and we do too, we love national parks, but I would recommend the Zoe Terra that has bigger wheels for something like that. Also, if you have kids who are 50 pounds or above, that is going to be a little bit of an issue here because they only tested it for around 45 pounds. Also, if you like a lot of storage underneath the carriage, I would not recommend this stroller. And if you have an infant, so someone younger than three months, I would not recommend this stroller. But the Tour Plus by Zoe and the Terra by Zoe have infant car attachments. So if you enjoyed this review of the Zoe Twin Plus Double Stroller, make sure you give this video a big like. 
and subscribe to Mamas in the Mood if you're into traveling with your family, planning, um, working from home, and everything in between. So I'm Mommy Leandra. Remember, I care.